So in this video guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can prepare one of these, just a brick of cocoa fiber, into one of these, a bucket full of cocoa fiber substrate. Welcome back to Northern Exotics. We're a reptile YouTube channel that talks all things reptile related, whether it be specific species care, breed your own live food, and amazing little reptile hacks that can save you a fortune. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell so that you get notified next time I do upload a video. I'd really appreciate it. Now this video is dedicated solely to reptile related cocoa fiber, which is exactly the same as the one you'd use in gardening. So this video can work for both reptiles and gardening. If you're a gardener, this will work for you guys as well, because it literally is exactly the same product that you get in gardening to reptiles and stuff like that. In reptiles, we try and stay to the actual reptile specific brands because the gardening ones can sometimes have something like pesticides and stuff like that in, in there. And we can't have that within the reptile hobby, especially if we use this for any bugs like stick insects or anything like that. Because let's face it, if we've got pesticides in with this and we put this in with some of the animals, it could kill off the animals because the pesticides, that's what they do. Do you know what I mean? So this is, reptile specific some people use the cheap poundland and the dollar store ones in their tarantula enclosures and it works for them so it might be something you want to look into i don't i just go straight for the reptile specific ones simply because i feel safer using them let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have used the pound shop and the dollar store ones and what are your experience with it i'd love to hear from you and if you're a gardener as well stick a comment down below and let me know how much the garden specific ones are because we spend around about three pound fifty on a brick of this so let's get straight into the video you can use this cocoa fiber with virtually any animal um, that requires that slightly higher humidity. So your likes of your various tarantulas, you can use it with them perfectly fine. If it needs a drier substrate, just dry the uh, cocoa fiber out a little bit and that'll work perfectly. You can use it with boa constrictors, you can use it with savannah monitors. There's a whole wide array of uses for this product. However, there are a few downsides that people don't tend to know too well. If you're using this in a bioactive enclosure where you've got live plants, this doesn't really sustain live plants that well. There's just no nutrients or no goodness inside the cocoa fiber that can help the plants thrive. So you might want to look into a much more bioactive friendly substrate if you're going bioactive. Or add in some products into the cocoa fiber that can help the rejuvenation of plants. Something like added oak leaves, oak mulch, cypress mulch, anything like that that's got some good bacterias within it to help your plants grow a bit better. So everything that you're gonna to need to be able to expand this, because that's what you do, you basically expand this into 10 liters of substrate. Because that's about what they make, around about 10 liters of substrate. So the first thing you're gonna need is basically a tub that can hold that 10 liters of substrate. That's basically all you need. I've just got this little shallow tub here. He'll tell you the rest. And yeah, the next thing you're really gonna need is the brick of cocoa fiber. This one I just picked up at a show, but you've got various companies out there like Exoterra. They make a great one of these. And it's just basically ground up coconut husk. What else you'll need is a jug to be able to measure out the water to put into uh, this tub. Okay, see, I see it. And that's all okay, you're really going to need to be able to do this. Let's show you guys exactly how to do it. So what you're going to need to do is add around two litres of water into a tub. Keep in mind, when this is fully expanded, you can always add more water, but you can never take water away. So always go less than the recommended amount. I start off with two litres. If it needs more water when it's expanded, then I'll add more water. The next thing to do is to get your cocoa brick and lay it in. It may float until it's absorbed with water. And then we just simply sit back and watch it expand. It normally takes around about 30 minutes to maybe even an hour in some cases. If you use slightly warmer water, it can sometimes speed the process up. If you're using a large tub like this, it can take a little bit longer. It just takes a while to absorb. Another quick way to help it out, it's obviously absorbed up to just underneath the surface, but that's only on the outside layer. So you can grab it and you can see just there, it's not absorbed right through to the center. So you can grab it like that and just sort of lay it down like that. The lower down you can go, you can start breaking it up gently and just sort of, there you go. See, that's how far in it's not actually absorbed yet. So you just keep 
you can do it like that if you wish you get a bit dirty so just be careful with that you've just got to simply wait as you can tell i've still got water in the actual tub so uh, we just have to wait you can put water on top and you can see it absorbing just nicely like that just have to wait and after half an hour start that side you can see it's still a little bit dry in places but you can start crumbling it up now and it's going to start absorbing water start putting it around this big chunk still a bit dry on the inside so i'm just going to break it all up it's dead sloppy in the bottom so that means there's still a lot of water in the bottom of this there you go still bone dry in some aspects and just keep some, some of it is sopping wet so it's just a case of getting that water in the dry aspects of it I grab all the dry bits put it down give it a crumble up there you go and just leave it and leave it it's only been around about 20 minutes so far so it absorbs nice and quick and 45 minutes later and we're left with this the perfect cocoa fiber perfect use for various reptiles amphibians invertebrates and for your garden plants thanks for tuning in guys i appreciate you all if you've learned anything please hit that thumbs up button